Hello everyone, I'm Renzo Mox, and welcome yet to another LEGO Bionicle set review. Today I'm reviewing set number 71314, Storm Beast. Yeah, I like this guy. I like this guy's box. Uh, they really made his head look gigantic, though, because if you look at the actual set, his head is not that big. Uh, I don't know, it just looks weird from this angle. Anyways, you can see all the details. Uh, Storm Beast logo. Pretty cool. Kopaka actually is the right Kopaka in the background. He's very sad. He's very sad that his buddy <laughs> took his mask. You can see in the Shadow Trap mouth. There's all the set information. Uh, also, don't forget to rule out the fact that he is a billing toy. Um, nothing out on the top because there is no symbols for these guys, which kind of, I don't know, that's a shame. Uh... Here we can see the official combi model and all the volcano art. Love this art. I have really want to know what's going to happen in Journey to One. This looks like the very end of everything. Uh, this combi model probably won't review it. However, if there is, if I do, that will be really cool because I hear it's gigantic. Uh, all the functions, the weird function that I'll get into, the shadow trap function, and then the mask pop off function. And then you get the little comic. You know, Storm Beast is angry and stuff. Uh, then he's walking into life, I don't even know, then Kopaka's like, eh, and they stand, and then they fight, which is really cool, uh, then there's the actual side of the mask, so, let's move on to the actual figure, uh, you guys are lucky that you didn't see that, um, uh, I just did this entire take, uh, <laughs> forget about that, anyways, so my first initial basic, I, when I look at this guy, I think he, I don't know, he's okay. He's very diverse, in my opinion. He's got a lot of things going on for him. And let's talk about that function first, because, oh, my lordy from heaven. This thing is weird, but I love it at the same time. So basically, uh, actually, the tail, I'll just show you, it is a shadow trap, so you can just go, um, whoosh, whoosh. And that begs me to believe that this army is definitely created by Umarak, because the only thing... Uh, the Destroyer, since he looks like Trans Neon Green, that's why the Trans Neon Green is running through these guys. Not just that, but he knows of Shadow Traps because he probably created them. So you get this uh, Shadow Trap tail thing, which is cool. I mean, it closes up, and it really it's just for storing Kopaka's mask that comes in the set. But look at this function. You pull the tail down for the arms to go up. You pull the tail uh, up. You actually can't. Uh, it's the way I have him. You just, it's, look at this thing. It's so weird. You get this, his arms are posed upwards right now. If they were not, then his arms would be like, ah, uh, it's such an intriguing system. It really is, like, it gives, it, personally, it gives me a lot of faith in LEGO. It makes me, it makes me look at the sets, and I'm like, LEGO, you're getting even better. These things look actually so flippin' amazing, because you're putting so much effort into this line. And just look at this. This is like something not even. It was simple to um, build, I think. It was like, it was pretty straightforward. But the function itself is asinine. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> the function was really cool. Um, I guess the next thing to a function would be his head, which is as simple as the beast head goes. You either have the little brain stock, which is the longer version. I forgot to mention that in my Lava Beast review. Uh, but they went back to the longer version for whatever reason. And then a flick. So, yeah, you get that. You can see you can move the jaw, but ugh, that's the only reason. I don't like the fact that you cannot move the jaw. There's the beautiful mask. Love this thing. The coloration is amazing. I love how it kind of, there's this dark green color that, that like, generates. And I love that color. It just looks so, 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 so cool. Um, and then the other way to unlock this function or unlock it, perform this function, that's a better word, uh, is by taking your Kopaka or whatever and just flicking the jaw, um, yeah, flicking the jaw from underneath it. I don't really get that. I, it's weird. <laughs> um, next thing, I guess, is the hands. I don't, a lot of people are bashing on these hands, and I r tore them apart when I first saw the pictures from Nuremberg, only because, it's not even because a lot of people still hate these hands, I don't hate them for those reasons. I hated them because the Nuremberg picture showed the thumb upside down. That's why I ranted on this thing. I I have a soft spot for these hands. I don't know. It's not the way they're constructed. I don't I'll admit it is awkward with the open ball joint. These don't necessarily bother me, but they bother a lot of people. 
uh, with the open ball joints and the way that they're constructed. I mean, it just, uh, yeah, it looks really weird. There is also no elbow, which can be a problem for some people. It's not a problem for me, but whatever. I also like the way with the function that the bull rock eyes come over the shoulder. That looks nice. Um, and there's the crystal, uh, the new crystal armor pieces in trans light blue, which also come on a Kimu, which is pretty cool. The legs, I'm, I'm actually not going to rant about them. I, I'm really not. I ranted about Lava Beast's legs only because I think my problem with them was the fact that there was just, the colors weren't really flowing through the legs, and I could also say the same about that. Maybe a trans neon green Borok eyepiece wouldn't hurt, or even like, even the finger pieces down here would have been good. Um, the leg construction, the Technic construction is fine. If the red pins, there are a lot of red pins that are kind of a nuisance. I I don't mind them, but yeah, a lot of people will. Uh, also, new four long dark blue armor pieces, and you get what like yeah, you get three of them in that in this set. So, and you get them for cheap too. That's pretty cool. Um, not much else I can really say. Now I guess we'll just go on to the mask and comparison with uh, the other Toa. So, now we have another interesting comparison. We have uh, our buddy Storm Beast over here with, or, yeah, next to Kopaka. And we can just see the size difference. With Lava Beast, he was, like, right at his shoulder length. This guy is definitely a lot smaller. And that's actually even weirder, because Kopaka is smaller than Tahu, just by a little bit. And we can see the proper comparison. However, if you do not remember, or if you do remember, these are massive villains. And thus, they are... Constant. There are lots of them. They are constant, in other words. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of these guys running around fighting Kopaka, which explains why he got his mask stolen. Speaking of which, uh, oh, I hate the creek so much. The crick. We get this new white, I don't, I, I don't know why it's white, unless like he's reverting it to its original state, even though the masks, the golden masks are separate from the actual real masks, which... Always confuse me, I never really got that, because if he is reverting it, does that mean the original masks are, or the golden masks are just the original masks? I don't get it. Uh, the transing, the melding here is, I don't know, that's like the only trans bit you get. The rest of it is all solid, and, uh, I don't, I, it's weird. I'm not sure whether to like it or hate it, because it reminds me a lot of the Ninjago Ghost sets, just with that steamy color scheme. It even looks steamy. Um... Okay, yeah, I don't really like that, actually, because it's just, oh, the melding there, it's just, it's bad. L that stream, that's all I'm getting from trans, and that's it, aside from a little few details on the side. It's definitely a problem, and it doesn't come with a stud, which isn't really a problem. You can just take a trans neon green stud there. And if you buy a lot of Bionicle sets, you should get, you should find a lot. I mean, actually, I think the only set that actually had the trans neon green studs was, uh, uh, protector of stone. Anyways, so let's actually take a look at what it looks like on our buddy Kopaka, and it's probably not going to look good. Yeah, no, that's... This doesn't look good. He has a... Looks like he dyed his hair lime today. It just does not look good, which is... I. That's the intention. It's supposed to feel wrong. It's supposed to be bad, because this guy, our little buddy, came in and uh, Scarlet witched his mind, so he just... Uh... Overall, I don't really like it on his face, and also it cannot fit on Storm Beast's face, which is just something I wanted to know in case people were asking, because there are a lot of people like that. All right, let's go on to my final thoughts now. So for just a few final words on this set, I, I'm, I like it. I do like it. I like it more than fire. Uh, actually, I almost said Fire Beast. I like it more than Lava Beast because Lava Beast is a cool looking set. But this guy, he's got everything else. He's got a good build, generally. There are some things. His function is amazing. His overall color scheme is okay. I could do without the trans light blue. I don't know. That's just some, my personal opinion. I don't think that really helps. Um, but I do... Actually, my initial thoughts on this guy were like Dragon Bolt. Like a more... Uh, a $15 Dragon Bolt, essentially. And my thoughts haven't really changed on that opinion, but I, I like this guy way better than Dragon Bolt, because he may not be a titan, or he may not be big, or whatever, but he still, he still is a very interesting, cool little dude. And I enjoy having him. I, I enjoyed reviewing him. I enjoy this set in, per, in general. Only problems I would say is 
Not enough color in his legs. His hands are built weird and poorly. And I don't like the mask in the set. Not the actual beast mask of corruption, which is its name. I'm talking about the Kopaka mask. I just do not like that. Um, but that's all the reviews you're actually going to see from me for now. Because I like to go in order. So, I'm going to wait till I get Quake Beast to finish off these reviews. I know I probably shouldn't do that, but you know what? I like to be a perfectionist. So, I'm going to wait till I get Quake Beast, which is probably sometime at least by before the end of the month. It should be. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just say that Quake Beast, it should be done, I should have him by the end of the month, and if I don't, then rip, I'll just review the rest of the sets. I'll review Ikimu, or, so yes, next is Quake Beast, and then Ikimu, and then Umarak the Destroyer. I don't know, I don't know why I changed into an Otacon voice. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.